and I thought this was a perfect opportunity to try something new and different. I've challenged myself many times, probably from the mid-90s, with ultra running, and I've kind of got tougher and tougher things. And the Ice Age Trail is kind of the pinnacle of that. Am I able to run for 21 days straight for over a thousand miles? And I, need, I wanted that challenge. I had done a long distance uh, pilgrimage trail in Spain, uh, the Via de la Plata. It's one of the Camino trails that's becoming more and more popular. And I ran that as well. I wrote a guidebook about it. And I was running at home one day with one of my running buddies, Jason. And he was talking about his Ice Age trail run that he had done a couple years ago, which I had forgot, kind of forgotten he had done it. I didn't really follow it all that closely at the time. And uh, I just started thinking, oh, that would be real similar to what I'm doing, did on the Camino, and that could make some good stories. And then I started looking it up and only three women had through hiked it or uh, the whole thing. And I thought, oh, why don't I just try it and I can run it and uh, maybe I'll get the women's record. So that became the, that was the start of it all. <laughs> I'm an engineer, so everything, I like plans. I like to say I'm gonna do this and get it done. Uh, what I found was, first four days, everything went golden. I was on my plan, I hit my mileage. I was, I think I was, I wasn't eating enough though. So that was the first thing I learned. How many calories do you physically have to eat during the day? Even though I've done lots of trail running, lots of distance hiking, um, I had a lot of blisters and I got some infections in my skin on the bottoms of my feet, which I've never had in my life. So I wasn't expecting that. That definitely sewed me down, had to go to urgent care a couple times. A lot of people go east to west, other people go west to east. I went west to east because I felt um, it just seemed more natural to me. And I was more familiar with um, Door County to some extent. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm not really sure why I went west east. <laughs> but Potawatomi, uh, like so many places on the trail, I'd never been before. Potawatomi, I think I'd camped there as a kid ages ago, but you know, you don't really remember things too well. And getting up there at Potawatomi with a tower overlooking the bay, and you know, I think we had a nice sunshine day, which was always good and friends had champagne and we had some cake, so a nice celebration. It was just a wonderful experience to finish. I've already even started thinking it'd be really cool not to run it the other way, but uh, don't tell my husband or anyone in my family.